Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. I have a new build which was created by, I guess, the same guy who made one of my old nuke builds, which is Sangek Sun. I don't know if I said that properly, but thank you again for this build. I just wanted to showcase it because it's actually a very OP build video and he actually beat the Crimson Dragoon at level 60 billion with this, so I will just get straight into it. All the items you need are going to be on screen right now. Uh, just to show you all of the items and then I'll do the DPS test and then I'll show you how to get all the items so first of all this is the DPS I'm gonna press E and then press E two more times so press E three times in total now we've done it three times you want to press F and you should see that the boulder up here makes you do QD damage so we're doing three quadrillion damage of this build so how to get all of these items let's start so we have Draconian Ringlet, which you can swap with any Ringlet, it doesn't really matter. But this one drops from the Crimson Dragoon, if you wanted to know, and get this one, which I think is still the best in the game. Um, just because it gives you the highest flight speed and ascend time, etc. Um, ascend speed, I meant not ascend time. So it drops from Crimson Dragoon, which is in Rebirth 8. And then we have Obsidian Skin Chestplate and Obsidian Skin Leggings, which drop from... Draco Knight of Glorong right here, which is pretty much right next to the Crimson Dragoon, so you can grind both of them at the same time. We have the Cape of Armides, which drops from the raid from Armides himself, who is the final boss in the raid. It's a 100% drop chance, but you want to make sure that the armor shred is above 50% so that you do maximum damage. And then we have Firebrand, which I'll show you how to get right now. There we go, Crimson Wall of level 400,000 I believe, or maybe it's 4 million, I'm not really sure, I think it's 4 million actually. So you want to kill that guy and he will drop the fire round for you. And next up we have the Holy Charm which drops from um, Corrupted Angel who's like right outside actually, so... Corrupted Angel is right here who is next to the Full On Executor. So this angel will drop you the Holy Charm. And then we have Frost Clan Arts, which is from Rebirth 8 as well. Over here to Rebirth 8, you'll see that the Hill Fighter is right here. I'm gonna just keep killing him, man, and you'll eventually get it. It's a 5% drop chance. Um, next up, we have Ring of Precision, which is actually from Chronos of the Past. Okay, so to get to the Kronos of the Past, you want to go uh, to the starting island, you want to equip a flight build, I guess, and then go through this kind of like portal, black portal. Uh, then you want to fly up to the Sky Store, which will probably make it easier for you if you get to the Sky Store. Then you see there's a portal right there, you want to basically fly to that portal right there. Okay, so now that we're at the portal, this ring basically drops from this Kronos of the Past. He's right there actually ring of precision it basically gives you more damage uh, which multiplies with this build and not that one this build um, and then the final item we have is the unholy great shield so uh, there's two ways of getting the unholy great shield i think the easiest would probably be going straight to the store and buying it for 750 trillion but if you do not have the money for it you can also i mean you should have the money for it if you can't i mean if you're in rebirth you should have the money for it but if you don't Nightmare also drops it, he's right here, and it's probably like a 5% drop chance. Okay. So if you want to grind him for it, it'll probably take a bit longer. I recommend that you just buy it from the shop since it's a lot easier and you don't really have to like wait around. Um, so that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the build and thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in another video. Goodbye.